Yo, yo, we're on track number five, and uh, this has been, you know, based off of track four on the older mixtape, remix tape. <clears throat> this one's a pretty lengthy track. I put a lot of bars into this one, and uh, what I'll talk about what I do too. I do like three verses a lot of the time, if not. Because what I want to show you is like I have different sides. So I have the victim side, right? And then I have the side where I'm like the domineering side or dominating. Then I have the balance side because I, you know, and even my balance side isn't 100% the truth. I want to tell you that, but I try to do the best thing I can to see the other person's point of view. And I mean, I've been told numerous times I've settled a lot of arguments um, almost to a point of pissing people off because it's like, you know, I take their power away because it's like I get where they're coming from. Like I could empathize with my power to empathize and to understand where you're coming from is very, very high. So um, and I encourage you to work on that ability, too. It's just I mean, don't beat yourself up, but spend time in the other person's shoes and see where they're coming from and actually like actually wear their shoes. And uh, with that, that's how I would come up with a lot of my third verses, which you'll hear on, you know, Retrieval 2023, um, 2020 Part 3. And uh, so I'm going to get into it. It's going to be a lot of bars. So, all right. Used to wish about fucking all them hoes. All that I wanted was my little man to get blown. Pulled the baddest at camp. I fucked up my toe. Held back. Treated women like guys. Get to that lady though. What are the odds that I'll slay it though? If I don't even have the nuts to kiss it. Swore I was ready though. What's love and lost? That's how it go. Feels frosty. All of the shade. I need it. My coat. Knew it. <laughs> Needed my coat, but I caused it. You want me to get off it, but I never considered the bigger picture was exhausted. All these bullies in my face, I couldn't sock them. Made fun, so I got tackled good. They was yelling, hey, get off them. I talked a lot of shit. It wasn't counterfeit. I hurt feelings, lack of acknowledgement. I could... <laughs> Lack of accomplishments, lack of deposits. Instead, I'm withdrawing. I'm positive. It's all negative nonsense. I swear I'm being honest, honest. Andy Milanakis, I was watching back when I was wearing Casio watches. If you wear them with wearing. Mm, mm, mm. Whew. If you wear them, then wear them with fucking confidence. I was too concerned of what other people's thoughts of my progress. That posse was pulling girls a kick back. So when I was watching. Pouring hell half, no fury like a woman score. You talking to the dude that never ate his vegetables. Just corn, you think I'm responsible enough to lay eggs with you on board. You hurt with more lies, I told. After part one, I was getting bold. You were my first time. I could have made it to that football game if I tried. I was fucked up and my pride was stuck up. Pops told me take it out on the ones that give no good luck. What? I wasn't listening, but I managed to leech on people respectively, feeding for the love I didn't have. I failed to mention I could climb fences without no effort. Thought I looked cute with glasses, was afraid to sanction the girls that chased me. I wish I had my necklace now tucked back then in my shirt because I wouldn't tug security guards' vests as I pointed in their direction. Word up. Um, I just want to talk about the track I do. I'm referencing, which is, you know, the remix tape again, but... I remixed those three tracks together because Meek Mill, you're you know you're one of my highest inspirations too, bro. Real talk, uh, just edifying you on that. Uh, shoot, yeah, man, I just had a vision for you know the three three verses on that and just went in, bro. Like I don't know what else I could really say. Um, I do what I'm referencing here is first grade. I got my glasses for the first time, and uh, you know I was I talked to this girl. What was her name? I think it was Maya, maybe? Asian? Um, but I thought she was one of my close friends, and I, I went up to her, you know, and I was like, yo, my glasses are real cool. And uh, I actually got made fun of. She got her other girls to make fun of me, too. And they kind of chased me around. I was crying, but you got to realize my self-esteem back then was real low. I was going through a lot. So, I mean, one could say they were just flirting with you, or, or they, they could have been flirting. Um, and I could have converted that. Um, but for where I was at, I was in a vulnerable position. So I was crying. I was hiding. They chased me and I went to the security guard and, you know, they stopped bugging me. Uh, but I thought I looked good. But, you know, that's just 
kind of an ode to my depression back then. I was going through a lot. You know, and that's when I was at East Ridge. I got suspended. I was I was bad, but I didn't have any support really. I got bullied by a couple of people, uh, by one dude. No, a couple of people, but uh, we made up. We talked since then. You know who it is, but um, he knows who he is. But we made up on that, and it's like you know, people aren't their past. You know, um, but that stuck with me a long time, and I felt like I kept bringing it up. But it wasn't until like we were in front of everybody, and I called him out, which I mean, ain't the best thing to do. I ain't saying you need to call everybody out, but sometimes, you know, if they don't listen to you any other time, where else you gonna do it, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what else? I talked about my ex, the one I went to prom with in high school. There's a football game for females. You know that what was it like? Uh, some type of girl power powder uh forgive me i ain't trying to do no disrespect but it was called something and it was flag football and they played saturday morning it was a big thing i didn't show up and i regretted that but i was cleaning i had to like i could have cleaned the night before but you know cleaning that and then taking the bus over there uh to get there in the morning because you know the bus the 21 ran uh early in saturday morning i think every hour early and then it went to 30 minutes so but you know so that's what i talked about there let's see talked about the times where i mean um i kind of shouted you out on the book series uh who was i talking about for the what the line where it's like what are the odds that i'll slay it though if i don't even have the nuts to kiss it so we're always ready though um i talked about a lot of females on that in particular natalie i have to shout you out i ain't gonna say your last last name but at camp, yeah, you're the one I wanted to kiss, by the way. And I always regretted that. Years later, yo, I was like, dang, I wanted to kiss you, but we couldn't make purple at Camp Hydra Haji. <laughs> uh, man. And yes, I mean, when I said about Bull the Baddest at Camp, you could recall if you want to. A lot of people forgot, but shoot, I had, you know, I had some females. But. Anywho, you know, uh, shout out all y'all. Again, I said it on my book series, but I'll say it again. Christine, I apologize. I let you down because um, I had a big, the biggest crush on you, but I turned you down because you, you drank. And I was all on my high horse back then, but, you know, I had my own addictions and escapisms. But, you know, everybody that drank or smoked, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Um, Hannah, what's up? You know, I, got, I bought you that ring at camp, you know, that cheap little ring. Uh, it's crushing on you. I crushed on every man. I'm gonna just say it here. I gotta, I'm gonna keep saying it. I love women. I don't know what I gotta tell y'all. Like, why is it such a bad thing that I love women? Like, why do I gotta feel bad? Why can't I have any female friends? Because it's like, oh, well, you're trying to get sexual. It's just like, I'm a seductive dude. Like, I mean, just who I am, who I am. And it, it does what it does. Like, sorry. Like, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, I'm tired of not having female friends because of that notion that I can't, like, um, you know, talk to females. Anywho, uh, dang. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? You know, g getting into fights, my pride and all that. Yeah. All right, we're going to get into the second verse. Um, Let's see here. I got a, well, this is like the intro to the second verse. I got a few things to talk about. No, I'm not always right. No, I'm not perfect, but I got a story to tell too. I got my side of the story. Y'all thought I was dead, left me out to dry. Nah, mm -mm. <laughs> No, sir, I'm here by God's grace and glory. I'm here to fulfill my purpose. So with this one, that intro, I gotta explain myself there because I mean, to be honest, like a lot of people, I mean, it's self-created. You create your own drama, right? But in the same sense, it's just like when people call you a lobster, are you going to paint yourself red and become a lobster? Or are you going to stay who you think you really are? And sometimes when you really think you are who you are, like I couldn't say I was Dr. Leon, DJ Smoothie Blue back in the day because who's going to mess with me? Then if you say that you're in competition with everybody else and they try to push you down because you're claiming something that's pretty, pretty big. Right. You know, it's just and uh, I dealt with that my whole life with. Uh, and I, I've done it, too. There's people I've left behind, too. It's it's a two way street for sure. I ain't trying to act like I'm perfect. I'm not. All right, verse two. 
I couldn't tell you how many times I cried, poked fun, cause I couldn't hill toe, I couldn't see walk. The only walk I loved to manage was at an intersection. I loved traffic lights, well doctor, what was the lesson I felt? My only friends was that imaginary DBZ and myself when was stuck in the slide, no luck. I blacked out after crying, yelling, that's how I felt. Inside the boys and girls club, my mother left me behind. Couple of dudes asked me if I miss my mommy. It took a, that to place. A trip upon me, yeah, that's another story. I remember when that dude touched me, wanted to hunt me, refused until I let loose. That thought crushed me, got our asses kicked, got taught, got caught on top of you mad quick. Out of frustration, not because I was gay, I wanted to race anyway. Another way provided that I could escape the pain. I swore that I ever saw you again. I wrapped my hands around your throat and that would be the end to another dude. I had to drop my tapes, I wasn't hella rude. You were my first recording we talked about coming up together. The whole group with effort could get this money. It got real funny. Couldn't ever get a time down in order to lay it down. Ask my homie, you record what was popping now. Showed me his dude and I laid it down. It wasn't the best, yes, but it got me off the ground pimping. Then you supported that John. It's supposed to have been you on the engineering side, but whatever. Maybe next time I was guessing. We talked again. We talked coming up again. A new opportunity was coming. I had to make amends. I said one thing. You never responded. I tried, but we never connected. I'm off this. I wanted to knock it out, so I hit my dude again, laid it down, and it came out good in the end. So I blasted you in front of everyone because it didn't. Oh, excuse me. I blasted you in front of everyone because it happened again. It doesn't make it right. Dude is recording me right now. Couldn't send me over my track, but at least he's recording my tracks. Not the most professional this has been going on, but we're both attempting to learn ourselves and are trying to grow upon ourselves. Um, so this is this verse is to my engineering team. Not right now, because I'm by myself, but uh, before I had a couple of homies, uh, they, could, they could address themselves if they want to in their side of the story. My side of the story was... Uh, it just it just didn't work with me working overnights and doing school and then at the time I started Enway Worldwide for the was the second time communicate for the second time so I told dude and I mean at this time and I thank you because you helped me record Hot Potato um, which is on my SoundCloud I'm probably gonna redo that too uh, you helped me record Hot Potato there were some other tracks that I did with uh, shout out Lenny G. Uh, that never made the light of day and some other tra and I think some other tracks that we started but never finished but it was just miscommunication at the end of the day um, I did blast them in front of everybody and that kind of created a riff but you know we made up we went to that red jumpsuit apparatus concert and because um, I had to work the next day I didn't get to see that group so shout out red jumpsuit apparatus face down and um, false pretense slap just saying uh and to the, you know, oh, Trent, forgive me, bro. Uh, your band, uh, gosh, Dango, right? Uh, y'all performed and y'all did a great job. Uh, but yeah, we made up there and uh, the other engineer didn't send over Men of, Men of Action, the final track. I'm not going to say his name. You know who you are. Uh, but, you know, that didn't discount because the first tape on the first Old to Me, New to You I couldn't give him all the money because I was broke. Because I was, you know, putting all my money with when I was living with my ex fiance and stuff like that. I was putting all my money into, you know, uh, our dog bandit. And I was also doing stuff with school. And uh, I just didn't have enough money. But, you know, the homie, uh, AJ Angels, you know, he, he vouched for me so I could do that. At the, and I mean, you could kind of hear it. There's some tracks that kind of got rushed towards the end where there's like kind of a reverb on it. But, uh, no disrespect it's just you know um if it wasn't for me bringing my drive which i think you should do anyway to, regardless of your relationship with anyone is bring your own drive and just be responsible have your drive have them uploaded if you're going to somebody else to record it and then take that drive and upload it on your computer that way if anything happens to the person's computer or relationship with y'all or even the hard drive i know future would have future um, he talked about on the track how like his hard drive crashed and had to create uh, recreate all of his tracks so um, To avoid that just you know bring your own external hard drive get the track or whatever beat 
and then upload it, save it ASAP, so you can, you don't have to worry about that. But hey, sometimes things happen, and it's supposed to go the way it's supposed to go for a reason. All right, then we got the intro to the third verse. We got, as I mentioned, I ain't perfect. There were some things said and done on both sides to make the situation what it was. Got to wake up that sometimes it's not everybody else's fault, and sometimes it's you. Sometimes you got to wake up to the vice versa of that, too. There's two sides to every story and three when the truth gets told. So grab a spoon for your soup, get cold. I'm just shouting out some lines that's important, I find. For the search I came across through the Drake. Now it's NF on the FM. Trying to get my steps in. Trying to leave this all in the past. I'm through neglecting. My pride had nothing to protect in. Lost more being in the middle. Learned my lesson. Pulling hemis, and, <laughs> pulling hemis understand this. My fault. No stretching was ever accomplished. I always felt for anything. I was never wearing a harness. Couldn't harness my ability. Didn't want it because my thoughts alone was killing me. I betrayed and have been betrayed. I've slayed and I've been the one slave. Paved the way for all of the hate. Took blame for others who not doing the same. Made fun of me till I was blue in the face. Stuck things in walls in order to maintain my facade. Gosh, kind of in the middle so much I thought I was in the, <laughs> thought I was in the menage. I was watching Drake and Josh cruising on one on one. What? <laughs> cruising on Zoe one on one. Done wishing, blaming others. I'm still tripping. Belief systems out of whack. You know I'm still fishing for some compliments. All the shit I did for attention, some nonsense. I can't get mad at no one else. I get what I put in. Strap the belt. Make the most of your situation and find it out. Stop crying for a hero if you can't save yourself from zero. My father was Robert De Niro, driving cabs, dodging jabs from the judge. Made him drive to all of them classes. He didn't budge when it came to my grades. Back then I was just fudge. All of my stories. Bugs Bunny jumping to conclusion, shooting like Emma Fudd. Nah, I'm smoking bud, judging people for they shitty hugs. I'm giving you dap. If me, you can barely touch. What is the fucking point of a side hug? I care too much. Shot my shot, didn't have any luck. I apologize to others that I hurt. Being a pussy, hiding my feelings, it didn't work. My relationship with God will never belong to a church. Word. Most of my life has been a blur on drugs, tripping. Other people's stories have never even occurred. Uh, I get it. I'm my own. I'm my own worst critic. Was concerned about them digits. I'm tall, but still a midget. A spawn to some. I'm still frigid. To warn to others. To wa to warm to others. They learned me. I was a bitch. I didn't show resistance. My mind stuck racing. I cried watching those pistons. Recently, I had another Christian and thought it would wash my blemishes. Too lazy, at least. I had something to drink. Hated making pictures of. Hated making pictures of Kool-Aid. Dumb it down for others, I was two-faced. It's time to change, this topic isn't up for debate. Stuck in the matrix, my mind stuck on penetration. If I stayed with my mom, I'd be in a penitentiary. Or dead selling crack, cocaine is crazy. I'd be shooting people for singing like a canary. Mary Lou, thank you for giving me that Toyota Camry. Mary Jane, Joe. <clears throat> Whew. Mary Jane, Julia driving me. I wasn't fooling you. Pearl Bullet, Lucille, the seat peel back. Wouldn't make it where I am if it wasn't for that. I stay sober, relapse. No effort shown, more laps. I'm still fighting after this time lapse. People see the side of me and they still gasp. Gotta love how they all react. Said they were proud of me. God, get it all, devil, everything up out of me. When I said I was a spawn, just an analogy. I can't do this alone, I'm done speaking these fallacies. Get my mind above anatomy. Treat my mind, excuse me, well, mine too. My body like a temple, all else is a tragedy. I know you ain't mad at me. Uh. So, I mean, I went, you know, as you could hear, I, there's a lot I was spilling on this one. Uh, I can't really say too much on the last two verses. Well, three, actually. Um, I mean, some stuff I want to clarify is the giving hugs. A lot of people give side hugs. It's like, be be a person and own yourself. If you don't want hugs, I've had people, at two, two women at King Supers, when I worked there, told me they don't do hugs. They just, and I was like, okay, do you like dap? I gave them dap. And you want to know what happened? After I left the store, they gave me a hug because I respected their boundaries and I gave good energy. That's how that works. You have to have boundaries to present to people. You can't sit here and give somebody a side hug and claim they're sexually harassing you. What is that? 
All right, I, I have to gas y'all real quick on this because I'm tired of people uh, getting accused of rape and stuff like that or uh, sexually assaulting somebody when you never set that boundary because it looks bad on the people that actually ha did get sexually assaulted. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in the song, I did get sexually assaulted by this dude when I was with my mother. Uh, I'm not going to say their names. But when I this dude she was dating, I got caught on top of him humping him. And uh, that was because, you know, all the times when I was younger, I was playing Gran Turismo 1. I wanted to race, uh, as I said. And, uh, you know, he, he wanted to hump me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got tired of saying no all the time. So I was like, okay, if that's what you want, yes, I'll, I'll do it. So you can leave me alone. Of course, that time where I do it is where we get caught by him and... Uh, his dad and we both get spanked we both get whipped with the belt and uh, me harder than him of course because I'm the one on top of him but uh, at this point I already made out with my cousins you know what I'm saying and that's not on some incest stuff on purpose it was just you know it was when I was younger you know we were just kind of by ourselves at this point we saw a lot on TV you know people making out and stuff so we you know we're practicing just emulating it just being kids um but, I mean, a lot of people would say, you know, I've had some gay experiences. Because, you know, I'm straight and solo poly polyamorous. But, uh, you know, some people are, you know, gay or straight because they've had a bad experience um, with somebody of that sex when they were younger or even older. And, you know, that turns into another thing. So, a lot of people could say, well, you're, how can you say you're not bi or gay if, like, you had an experience like that? And it's like, even other times, like I was in the club and I got my ass smacked by another dude. Dude was muscular. And I don't care you muscular, bro. Like, I'll fight you. I don't care if I lose. It's not even the fact that, you know, and we shouldn't even fight anyway. But if we're going to fight, I don't care if your size. You shouldn't. It's, it's the notion that, like, you shouldn't do that. But it was like I was chilling at Milk, the club Milk. And it's like, yeah, dude was, you know, thought I was attractive, which is flattering. I, I really appreciate if you find me attractive. Like... I'm, I'm comfortable with my sexuality, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, and uh, I'm going to address some things too. Uh, it's going to get kind of a little bit NSFW uh, from here on out. Skip to the next track if you want to hear the next track. But uh, guys, y'all are over masculine, man. I can't speak to women because I ain't a woman, but y'all be doing too much. Y'all be talking about, well, uh, if you, if you talk, y'all can't even touch another guy without being called gay. And then y'all want to talk about, well, if you taste yourself, that means you're gay. Okay. Um, what else do we have? You have to say no homo. Uh, that was the thing. Then it's pause. And it's like, I feel like if the more you have to say that, the more you're hiding something. I feel like, do we really have to go every 20 minutes? And I mean, you know, shout out Joe Betta and his crew. <laughs> Uh, what was that uh, when they when they said um, when he said uh, what was that Rory? <laughs> He's like Trey Songz can give me twenty minutes of hits or <laughs> stuff like that. Okay, you know that's that's bad. <laughs> oh man, um, uh, shout out shout out you know Joe Budden, Rory Mal, the whole click on the Joe Budden podcast. Uh, I don't you know I'm gonna say it here too you know. Um, Joe Budden, you know, you saved my life, honestly. One of the people. Thanks for Slaughterhouse, man. Um, I'm going to put that in my will, too. And I mean, it's kind of, technically it is right here. But the growth, too, man. Def Jam, stop playing, bro. Y'all need to release that, John. Stop playing. Um, Glass House, Shady 2.0, please get it together so Glass House could come out, man. I'm a hardcore Slaughterhouse fan. Please do. <laughs> Y'all are so crazy, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all, I've bumped all, all y'all's music for so long. Uh, how long is this track? <laughs> Anywho, let me get back to it. So, yeah, a lot of people be like, well, you're gay for tasting yourself. Or, like, I'm like, come on, bro. And even if you are, who cares? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Just embrace it. And uh, I got love for the LBGTQIA community straight up. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I was raised as a Christian. So, you know, of course, I had the notion where I couldn't mess with Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling. Real quick, you got to get it together. You got to get it together, girl. You got so many people that support and love your stuff. You got to get it together. Stop playing. 
stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, do we really have to boycott you? Gosh. All right. Um, let's move on from that. Uh, but yeah, I was growing up as a Christian, so I couldn't watch, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon. She almost stopped me. My mother almost stopped me from watching Dragon Ball. I was like, I ain't stopping from that. I will get whooped as many times as I need to. But I had, uh, imagine, when I talked about the imaginary DBZ fighters, I imagine Goku and Vegeta being by me all the time when I was younger, because, uh, along with my imaginary, uh, my, my stuffed animals, those were my click when I didn't have anybody. When I would cry, you know, that's who I cried to, so... Uh, there's that uh, but yeah man just stop being overly masculine in the incorrect ways and honestly y'all can't handle most of y'all can't handle true female nature I hate to say it but a lot of y'all can't handle true female nature we have feminine dudes and I, which again no disrespect to the LBGTQIA community I'm saying you should know who you are regardless if you're a masculine person we okay we have two energies we have masculine and, and feminine with masculine and feminine energy, we all have it. If you're a vessel, which is a male, if you have testicles, you're a male. You are a vessel of the masculine energy. If you have ovaries, you, you're a woman. You have a vessel that is more uh, feminine. You still house both masculine and feminine energies. But we have a lot of feminine, masculine males that are that way because society versus they're actually feminine. And we have a lot of masculine females because they're that way because of society. And uh, I just have to say, man, we got to step it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, there's a lot of people I've saved from you cheating on your uh, from your spouse or your your girlfriend cheating on you because I just walked away. I could have easily seduced them. And there's times I have. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's not, you know, it's not right to go behind somebody's back. So I, I let a lot of the stuff go, but it comes to the point where it's like if y'all are so insecure to where you can't let your woman go on a, you know, just even talk to another man, just even talk, then something's wrong. <laughs> I was like, you know, you need to step up your game. And it's like if you don't want me taking all your women, then do better. You know what I'm saying? And not and I don't say that cocky cocky. Like, I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to hold back my charm because you can't get it together. You know what I'm saying? And females, stop holding back your feminine energy. If you're, if you, if you're wild, like I said, you know, with my addiction with pornography, it's like, I hate to say it, but a lot of y'all's women be on, um, on sources. I'm not going to say which sites, but they're on there because they're not getting enough attention from you in real life. Um, I mean, this is all real life, but actually physically they're not getting enough tension from y'all so they're they're there and we're doing the same thing to one another so um virtually so like i said i'm off of that virtual stuff if you want to come get it um just straight up and uh, vice versa but man be better you know go go lift some weights go do something hold your seat and i mean this is coming from somebody that's draining their seat most i'm tired of draining my seat for no reason you know what I'm saying? Everybody, we need to hold our seats. You know what I'm saying? Don't be mad at women. We've talked about this before. I'm going to say it again. Don't be mad at women for busting a, busting a nut. You know what I'm saying? If uh, you can't hold your own, you know, stop splurging everywhere. Keep your stuff. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, this track is long, long. So <laughs> uh, what else we going to do, man? I think that's it for this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate people beyond their body too. be more spiritual, you know, connect with everybody. It's like and let it lead there. If it just leads there, um, I'll get to more on this in adult education. But if it just leads there, it just leads there. Let it happen. You know what I'm saying? If you if you hang out and you vibe in and it goes there, go there. But don't just like come into the conversation, you know, um, thinking about nothing but sex. All right. <laughs> Head into the next one, team.